All right, so in this video, what we're going to learn how to do is control our fan with a relay. A relay is nothing more than a switch, which means that you can turn things on and off with it. It's a digital switch. And in computer science language, that means it can only read a zero or a one. Zero is off, one is on. And why we need to worry about fans is airflow is very important for plants. It helps get fresh carbon dioxide around them to help with the photosynthesis process. It helps to strengthen them. It enables them to move nutrients around their plant structures. So good airflow is very good for healthy plants. Okay. So let's get going. So I'm going to use the same program that we've been working on. So I've got my three functions, right? We've got our get data that's getting our air and humidity data. We're also going to use that data and we're going to edit this use data function. Okay? And I've got my show data function, which is going to show it on my screen. So let's move this use data function over here to the, kind of our central part of our screen. So let's think about what it is that we want to do. We want to be able to turn on our fan if the temperature is over a certain level. Okay. So if my temperature is over, a, say, 27 degrees Celsius or about 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and all I have to do with my fan, with my fan and relay is to go over here to my pins block and when I click on that, I get a lot of these new options. So I can digitally read a pin. I can write to a pin. Um, we haven't played around with analog pins. We will if we get to worrying about light. But notice this digital write pin block here. I'm going to drag it down. Now, what this is saying is that I can write a number to a particular port. So I'm going to drag this first one here under my if my air temperature is greater than my high, high temperature so if it's hot I'm gonna wanna turn my fan on so I'm gonna plug my relay in the port P1 All right. so you're gonna get a wire and you're gonna attach your relay to pin 1 and this is gonna use up all of my uh, open ports and I am going to change that from a zero to a one what that is meaning is that if my air temperature is over 27 or my high temp I am going to send a signal or the number one to port P1 to one okay which means I'm going to send the on signal to my relay now if my temperature is below 27 degrees, what I'm going to want to do is send a signal of 0 to port P1. Okay? And that is all that I need to do in the code to turn on and off a relay. I just need to send a digital signal, which is either a 0 or a 1, to the appropriate port or to the right port or pin. Okay. Now let's wire this up. Okay, So I've left my circuit wired up from when I was using my LED lights with the temperature. And I've got a fan. And your fan comes pre-wired. Okay? And it's got a power port on one end. And we're going to take that. And when you look at your relay, you'll notice it also comes pre-wired. We are going to plug them directly to together to each other. Okay. Then the next step that we're going to have to do is the red alligator clip gets clipped to the 3.3 volts, and the black alligator clip clip gets clipped to my ground. Okay, or zero. So when we're using our shield like this, it's basically a battery. And now my relay is attached to my circuit. It's going to get a signal or programmed when the temperature is a certain level. That means it's going to allow current to flow or not. Again, the relay is nothing more think of as light switch. It is just a switch. So let's download this program. I have changed its name to control fan. We're going to download it. And I'm going to transfer it 
to my micro bit. There's my control fan right there. All right. So my micro bit popped up. Let's drag it over. And yep, my little yellow light is blinking in the transfer. Okay. It looks like it's all done. I'm going to put it back in my shield. And then I've got to take my USB cable and plug it into my shield okay and now let's read some temperature on my screen here right now my temperature says that it must be below 27 because my LED light turned green in fact it's 22 degrees okay so let's warm up our temperature sensor and how I'm gonna do that is I'm just gonna breathe on it Okay, or you can hold it in your hand, you know, and warm it up. And then, of course, if you really want to speed up the process, you can change the temperature reading in your code, right? You can knock that number down. All right, so now my sensor, sensor turned red. My relay came on, and you'll hear a click when it comes on, and a light will come on. Okay, oh, and my temperature dropped back below 27, so let's try this again. Alright, it looks like it's 29 and there it goes on. My red light is on my relay. My fan is running. So everything seems to be behaving itself actually quite nicely. So now when my temperature cools down again, my fan should turn off and my LED light should turn green. Alright, so it looks like my temperature dropped and there goes my fan. So that's really all there is to learning how to program your fan based upon your different temperatures.